friends as uh, we are on the down slope of a large peak in our state we are anticipating an increase in the number of uh, mis cases that is we are expecting a number of children coming to our clinics or practices with symptoms of multi system inflammatory syndrome in a child which is a post covid complication as well as the subsequent peaks or subsequent waves of covid can infect younger people and it may reach a stage that more children are also affected so it is very important for all of us to familiarize with the referral and treatment guidelines for covid so we know our strategy for managing acute covid in adults is when people are asymptomatic or when they are having milder disease they can be kept at home and monitored the same is true with children and we know in children most of the children will be having asymptomatic infections hence children who are tested positive because of screening and are having no symptoms can be very well kept at home and monitored they need not be subjected to any investigation and they don't need any medicines also children who are having mild symptoms mild symptoms means it is like an uncomplicated upper respiratory infection that is the child may have fever sore throat rhinorrhea but there is no hypoxia that is when you check the saturation it is always 94 or more and there is no breathlessness and no fast breathing so such a child is categorized as a child who is having mild disease and this child also can be kept at home but with a proper a monitoring or uh, we should have some telephonic follow up or a video call facility and also uh, we should teach the mother about the danger signs or the a uh, signs which should make the parents bring the child back to the hospital so a case of covid in a child whether it is asymptomatic or mild covid can be kept at home with proper monitoring any child who is at home isolation with the category a symptoms or mild symptoms or any asymptomatic child if he develops cough or fever and the fever is persisting for more than 5 years and if the cough is worsening then this child needs to be referred because this qualifies the child to be having a moderate disease and also with regard to the respiratory rate if for a baby who is less than 2 months if the respiratory rate is more than 60 for children between 2 months to 1 year a respiratory rate of more than 50 from 1 year to 5 years a respiratory rate of more than 40 and those children more than 5 years if the respiratory rate is more than 30 or if the spo2 is between 90 to 94 that means there is hypoxia all these qualifies for a moderate severity of the disease those children who are having moderate severity should be managed in a tertiary care center where there is a facility for a hdu or a pediatric intensive care unit so a district hospital where there is facility can be used for treating such children and how to identify a child who is having severe symptoms severe symptoms include a child who is drowsy or is having excessive sleepiness a child who is unable to feed a child who is lethargic if there is decreased urine output there is breathlessness with the chest in drawing there is cold extremities bluish discoloration or any child who presents with seizures or who develops seizures during the monitoring period at home should be treated as a severe case and these children should be directly transported to a tertiary care center 
or a district hospital where is where there is facility for hdu or phd